Right, this is the shin pack. It goes from the thinnest to the thickest. So you've got 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0.9, 1 mil, 1.1 mil. Now I've put two sets in yours. You don't need two sets, you only need one set. And these are the side shims. We'll get onto them in a minute. Right, first thing you wanna do, you wanna set up at 10 yards or 15 yards for an initial zero. So in your menu, you wanna to go to your crosshairs or your reticle adjustment and make sure it's on zero X and zero Y. So you know that that is dead central. Set up on your target and take a couple of shots. Now on mine, it was shooting virtually off the paper, to be honest. It was hitting down here somewhere, yeah? So that's what you wanna be shimming to first. Now, what you wanna do is shim it in such a way that you point the pad at the point of impact. So you move the crosshair to the point of impact, not in the menu, you're doing it by manually shimming it. So what you wanna do is move the pad. So we've got to move that crosshair down. There's your bracket. That's the front of the bracket. That's the rear of the bracket. Your pad sits on like that. So what I did, I started with the middle shim and the shim sits in there. I'm doing it one handed, so it's a bit, it's a bit difficult. But the shim sits in there like that at the rear. So what you're doing is tilting the unit down, okay? So the shim sits in there like that, bolt goes up through the bottom as normal, put your pad back on and then take another shot. And you'll notice that the point of impact comes up. So it'll come up to there or wherever. I mean, ideally you wanna get it to there. Now these shims, you can, put on on their own like that or you put two of them on stack them uh, that's why they're in different thicknesses because basically you can find the thickness that works for you and your your goal is to get it bang in line okay so that's how you get it bang in line you're going to end up putting this pad on and taking this off of the rifle eight nine times maybe to get this shimming right but trust me it's well worth doing you'll, you'll be there for an hour but it's worth doing and it's worth doing properly so you want to get it as close to that line as you can using these shims it will be low they're all low that so you want to point that part so it's like that you want to point it down you want to move that crosshair down to the point of impact so experiment with the shims um experiment so start with the middle one see where you're at the thick the, the the middle one if you need to go further up then you need to use a thicker shim if you need to go further down then you need to use a thinner shim and just get it as close to that as you can and that's how you use the rear shims um if it is pointing up which i've never seen one that's pointing up then put the shim at the front of the unit. So that shim comes out of there and goes to there and then it moves the ship, move the unit up. Okay, but I've never seen one that does that. Right, now the left and right adjustment. Now, you shim the fixed side of the bracket. Okay, don't shim this side. There's absolutely no point in shimming this side because all you're going to do is uh, lengthen or shorten the pull you shim this side the fixed side okay so that's on your gun facing forward so if you're wanting to move it left then you shim the front you shim that because that is going to pull it over to the left ever so slightly if you wanted to shim it right then you shim this rear because then that pulls right ever so slightly now these shims the homemade shims they're what i use and again you're going to end up taking it on and off on and off to find the perfect amount of shims these shims go in on their own or they stack look you can just put put two together like that okay it's very fiddly 
especially with our fat thumbs. Um, so you fit, you, you're assuming the fixed side. So let's just say we want to pull it across to the left like that. What you do is you'd shim the front because you want to pull it across. So the shims, it's very fiddly to get it on the gun properly. Trust me, but it's worth the effort. The shims sit in there like that. See that? Right, so you're probably gonna have to, with your pardon, once you've sorted the up and down, put the shim in. Then you're probably gonna have to hold your rifle at a different angle or on its side and just carefully put that on so the shim's in place. Tighten it all up and try it. And you might find that it moves in. So you've got it as close to that as you can. You might find that it moves into about there, which means you need a second shim to move it there. So stack them like I told you. Put two in there. Um, it's, it's hard doing it with one hand. But stack them like I told you. And your goal, like I say, move it as close to there as you can. You will not get it bang on there. You will get it close. You'll get it like there. Or you'll get it like there or there or there. Once you've got it to that, then you use the menu in the pad, the reticle adjustment, just to move that to there. All right? So the goal of the shimming is to get it as close as you possibly can and then use the menu to get it the rest of the way. It's a very laborious process. You're going to be there on and off, on and off, on and off with a pad. Um, you're going to get fed up, but trust me, it's worth the effort. You've seen my videos. This is how I do it. Um, I've got it virtually bang on and then just moved it in the menu and i think i've got it set to something like 8x and 16y or something like that it's virtually nothing so when you magnify it when you press the zoom button the crosshair still stays center in the screen it's worth doing so you're going to set up with an initial 10 15 yard zero just to get it on paper then when you move it out to 30 yard zero your side shims will still be virtually correct because all you've done there is moved it across but your up and down shim the big thick black one there or whatever you put in will be wrong and you will need to adjust it again so you'll go to a 30 yard zero then or whatever your zero is and then you'll have to redo the back shim it's it's a it's a shitty process mate but i'm telling you it is so worth doing take the time to do it right